Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Remnant from the Ashes on the GTX 750 Ti. To skip to any of the resolutions tested, check the timestamps down in the description. So yet another Unreal Engine 4 game. In the options menu you should lower the usual options to get a good boost in performance. First I'll start lowering shadows. On low you end up disabling them, then post processing was also a decent improvement. The biggest visual difference in this one is that on low there's no ambient occlusion, and finally effects from ultra to low will mean that there are no screen space reflections. This will make some of the initial levels look significantly worse, since there's a big use in this effect in water, which will make it look like there's wax in the ground in some parts. I'm 10 days late testing this game, sorry about that. I ended up playing it a couple days ago and I really enjoyed it. Some people reported that the desert stage was a big hit and they were right. I got a big performance hit there, which is what I'm testing today. Expect a few more FPS in the other stages in comparison to this. On the CPU it seems to not be that demanding. A modern quad-core CPU should be more than enough to do 60 frames per second, as long as your GPU can handle it. I saw spikes in the CPU in the first 5 seconds of loading a level seems completely normal, and I'll still recommend aiming to 60 frames per second if possible, in the case of this game it makes it significantly better to control with all the dodging and shooting involved. But anyway guys, that's about it, I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time! Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, my God. 